Welcome back to Three Dorks. Mark abandoned me, so I had to enlist in the help of some other fool. I have nothing to do with my time. Nick Turo's back after... A year absence? Probably a year. Probably two years. I don't know when we last... I don't know when we posted our Smash Wii U thing. Link that in the description for all the throwback viewers. Hell yeah. The, the unfortunate events where Ryan won two, you won two, I won two, Mark won everything, and Andrew... Andrew got a big fat zilch. Big <laughs> rip Andrew. Andrew. Uh, avoid using your jump. I can't, I can't jump on a spiked enemy. What a damn shame. Well, I mean, that does sound kind of productive. Well, <laughs> thank you for literally giving me a condition that does nothing but help me. Also, because Mark's not here, we're not doing the badge thing we have set up, unfortunately. Indulge me in what the badge thing is, because I so, don't know. Um, also, keep in mind, viewers... I know nothing about this game. Yeah, Nick knows absolutely... Nick played Super Paper Mario. That, that was the game I He played. was familiar with it. Uh, badges in this game are essentially, like... They have a variety of effects. There's alternate jump. There's alternate hammer. So you got, like, special moves or alternate are you moves. Against Iron Man? Yeah, Iron Koopa. Iron Koopa. It's uh, Tony Hawk's in a Koopa costume. Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's. Tony Stark. <laughs> I don't feel I don't, so... I am so... I don't feel so good. <laughs> but yeah, so like this, these two, for example, are badges. So okay, piercing blow delivers damage that pierces enemy defenses. So any defense that this enemy would have is completely negated. That's not this broken one. as fuck. <laughs> oh no, this is probably one of the most useful hammer badges in the entire okay. game. Uh, Tattle, this one's useful because it gives you information on the enemy. This is what you did. This See, is basically what Tippy did when you pointed your Wii remote at the screen. Yeah. It, th this is uh, Dark Iron Koopa, Iron Man, Tony Stark. His weakness is, is that he's a bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, fuck you know what the... Uh, he's got a defensive too. And an attack power of five. Well, fuck. Is that good? Uh, well, he can down me in two hits. Because That's Mark unfortunate. And Mark and I have not upgraded our uh, HP. Let's say, why is your... Wait, your Goomba has so much more health than your Mario. Because Mar we neither near Mark want to upgrade our health. <laughs> Mark and I have both played this game to the point where... Oh, that didn't even flip him over. Oh, wait, I have fucking Koi camera. I'm fucking retarded. I Ugh. am retarded. Ugh! Nutted. And I didn't jump on him. You get style. You actually get style points in the game? Yeah, you can do stylish moves. I bet all my moves have the maximum amount of spike. Like, trust me, man. Like, you look at Super Paper Mario, it's... Honestly, this is very much the same thing, except it's an RPG instead of a platform RPG. But I don't know. I just have like a lot of nostalgic memories of playing Super Paper Mario. Dude, Count Black is up there with some of the greatest Mario villains of all time. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. I've said a lot that I really want to actually go back and play that game purely for the nostalgia of it. Yeah, no, you really should. I've been actually playing through it with my friend. And we're on the last chapter, but Count Black is one of the most amazing Mario villains. Mainly because, unlike every other one, he's not driven just by a wanting to conquer things. Conquering Princess Peach. Bro <laughs> no, he's not like Bowser. He's not trying to conquer <laughs> that ass. Browser. No, it's like... He is a tragic villain. And he's the only tragic villain. Yeah, well, basically ever. Yeah, like, in Mario for history, Super Paper Mario has the deepest story that went completely unappreciated when it came out. Yeah. Her ex-friend with a Hatenator. Haterator. Haterator? That's what a mouthful. fuck is that? Remove the Greek Gonzalez poster from the lobby. Why is that, like, all of, like, the, the sarcastic meme it's posts now? <laughs> I don't know, that's something I've never known. But the sarcastic, like, The, the sarcastic Spongebob meme. The mocking Spongebob yeah, meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Mr. L was actually the coolest thing of my childhood. I just have to say Low that. Low-key, he was pretty fun. He was fun to face. And then you got Luigi, and you were like, oh. Oh, wait. Big spoiler. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. And I was like, wow, this guy isn't as cool as with when he had the mask on. Nah, <laughs> no one knew who I was until I, I had the mask. <laughs> you would think you were born in the darkness. <laughs> you merely adopted it. I was molded by it. Hold on. Go to the second floor of the second floor of the storage room. Go to the second floor of the storage. Um, yeah, I honestly like we will eventually play Super Paper Mario for this channel because 
What? Please bring me along for that, because I will. Damn straight, yeah, I'm, happy, I'm glad you have have you over for a few of those. Like honestly, what madmen would we be to play the first two Paper Mario games and not play the third one? I was about to say those are the three best ones. Though. The the, tr the original, like literally, the Paper Mario is currently basically Star Wars. There's it's the original the, trilogy, and then there's whatever the fuck came next. Although to be fair, as although I think people are getting a, a strange appreciation for the prequels anyway. Yeah, maybe it took the Clone Wars to do that. The Clone Wars is the greatest TV show I've ever watched. I've heard like Mark really enjoys it, and I'm not gonna say it's bad, obviously, because I've never watched it. So if you yeah, guys want to okay, enjoy yeah. it, then hell yeah. It what it really does is just flushes out everything that happens from episode two to episode three. That's good. It literally just creates every single plot line. It makes Anakin a very intriguing hero, and makes him like a tragic hero. It like really like emotionally attaches you to him. The there one sad thing is that they never recognize Ahsoka and Canon, which is like big sad. But I have a feeling they'll probably do that at some point if they introduce her in like <laughs> the Mandalorian or something. Yeah, um Did you watch the Mandalorian? No. It, um, you when should. it comes to the Star Wars franchise, I'm gonna be real. I was introduced I I fully got into Star Wars through Lego Star Wars on the Wii. Biggest banger of the Wii. Yeah, like that was Other than was, Super Paper Mario. <laughs> like the Wii has some great games. I can understand why it was such a fantastic big console. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, no, because I was in, I played the complete saga on the Wii. You got um, basically. Everything. I, I basically <laughs> got introduced to all the uh, the prequels and the, the original trilogy at the same time, so I didn't really show any hate toward anything. Yeah, there was the, the thing is with the prequels is everything is like super super CGI because that's when all the tech was new. Yeah. So they were like, let's abuse the shit out of it. And I can like, look, look. There were a lot of things I can understand that the prequels were fucked up for. Jar Jar Binks being one of them. Jar Jar Binks does not need to exist. I'm sorry, unless you believe the Darth Jar Jar theory, in which case you're a legend. <laughs> if you believe in the Darth Jar Jar theory, you are part of hashtag woke gang. Um, no. Get that certain in the comments. Like, hashtag woke gang. <laughs> Personally, um, I think Jar Jar is just probably one of those really stupid characters that's meant to be that dumb. Have you seen? Have you heard the Darth Jar Jar theory? I have not. If you look in the prequels movies, like, in certain instances, like, you'll see, like, characters speaking, and Jar Jar is mouthing the words behind them. And it's, like, really creepy. Hmm. It's, like, uh, I think it's at some point where, like, some, like, they vote in, like, the senator, or they, they vote, they vote in Palpatine, and Jar Jar's in behind them mouthing it. And you're, like, whoa. whoa. He's, he's, uh, he's in control. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd It'd be, be like, hilarious. Well, he's just like mind tricking people into doing it because he's just this super powerful Sith Lord. But he plays himself off as some doofy ass looking dumbass. That's what I'm saying. This what if it's the greatest ploy of all time? This what if what if Jar Jar is Snow? Oh, yeah. we're, we're, we're getting the, <laughs> the end phase. of fucking episode nine, and it's literally just Jar Jar. Oh it, wait, did you watch episode nine? No, I have not watched any of the. Uh, you really have to indulge sequels. it. Sequels. You have to indulge it really badly. Um, um, sorry, here's Chicken Man. He's KFC. Exactly. He's the nuclear re reactor, I think. Fucking nuclear, nuclear KFC. Reactor? He's nuclear Great Gonzalez? Great Gonzalez is Mario. Because apparently that's the thing that they just came up with. <laughs> <laughs> he just throws up. <laughs> he just throws up <laughs> in the middle of the stage. <laughs> sorry, regurgitated my fucking lunch. He literally just threw up and you walked off the stage because the fight was over. Uh, <laughs> you he just regurgitated his lunch. Mario's like, I don't want to fucking fight that. Mark's gone. Anastasia's very mad. She's looking. She's mean mugging in the corner. Oh, trust me. Like, you should have seen when Mark was leaving, when he was getting ready to leave, she just, like, she swatted at him, bit him. She just sat there all grumpy and just growled. Why is grump her entire movie? I don't know. Anastasia was once real, like okay. Now I'm not gonna say once because she's probably still a sweetheart. Mark's the only one who can real like she just loves Mark the most. There used to be a point where even I could pick her up. <gasps> um, I actually back a lot when I was a kid. I had a conversation with her in the window. I just meowed well, at her out. and she meowed at me. Shout out Anastasia. Shout out to you know you know what uh, this episode is dedicated not just to Star Wars but to Anastasia. Our, spon our new sponsor is now Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia, sponsor us. We're going to get a G Fuel code and we're going to make a coupon code Anastasia. Use use code Anastasia. We're going to get like some random like Game Freak, some sort of like sponsorship. You wish. If you get a sponsorship from anything I want and you use the code Anastasia, I want some credit in that. 
Oh. Can do. <laughs> Can do. We flushed. That's like that. You bold of you to assume that we'd be successful in something. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> I called ourselves out because I was like, I, I said something. I don't remember what I said, but I was like, well, someone needed to say it. Like we're like no one's just gonna admit we're boring. No one watches us because we we're just boring. Called out, man. I feel like a face cam might help. Maybe someday, Nick. Maybe someday. Maybe when. Maybe when I learn how to use a face cam and when I get one. Either that, or you should do like some challenges. I feel like a lot of people are just like into like like battle royale games, and you guys just aren't, which is perfectly fine. We're literally just like every other fucking playthrough. If anything, like I think we've already established that we're just basically game grumps, but weak. game grump, game game grumps for like Walmart. Discount. Discount uh, rollbacks. <laughs> discount game grumps, man. Walmart rollbacks, but game grumps. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You ever have those like times at Walmart when you went there to go like a Pokemon cards in the tins? Dude. Yeah. That's what I lived off of. That was my childhood. And I used to try to shove them under my shirt and try to walk <laughs> out. I used to try to walk out of the store with them and my mom would like, be like go put it back, we're not buying anything today. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Then there was the I had story. to try at least, Jesus. Mark, Mark, uh, when Mark was like a little kid, he tried to steal Thomas Train because he was like that kind of person. He's like, Wonderful. my mom would just like pick him up and take him back. Just like, you're not taking that. You put that back. Bernice is not down for that. She does not. That's right. Now. She does not. She got wrath. When it came right down to it, my mom was like. But then again, we were also kids. It's like every time we went out to a toy store, we assumed that we could get something. Rock Hawk. Rock Hawk, otherwise known as the Rock Cock. The Rock Cock. Can you smell what the I Rock is say... cooking? <laughs> the... Oh shit! I thought you were about to say, will you submit to the Rock Cock? That would have been terrible. Um, I submit to no one. Fuck! I messed it up! <laughs> I submit to no one! Fucks up his move. Damn it! Oh, fuck. I feel like I inadvertently caused that. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm at four HP. We're good. Do you need Mario to live? Yes. If Mario dies, it's an instant game over. Oh well, goddamn it! And I haven't good. saved it from this entire episode, so I don't want to die. I thought you had the save block. Uh, oh yeah, I did. Sucks away enemy HP. Okay, I'm not kissing this fool yet. Oh, I'll wait till Flurry's taken some damage so I can go in for the kill. I was about to say I'd, I'd kiss you. Well. <laughs> this, is what Whoa, man. this is what happens when it's not Mark. You get some really different dialogue. I feel like Mark is just like really sarcastic. Ah! I, I just went full stylish mode there for whatever reason. Hold on, I'm gonna. Fuck, I just botched it. I botched it! God damn it. What's he doing? Time to rock! Time to rock my cock! Yeah! <laughs> Super guarded that ass! Yeah. By the way, if he had hit me, I probably would have died. Ooh. Speaking of dying, okay, no, I've got a life stream. We're good. If I fall, if someone dies, and then I get restored. So tell me, in this game, do you actually get items from killing things? Yeah, you can. Like Must this be nice. If like it's the same in like Super Mario. Mario. Occasionally, enemies have uh, drops. Yeah. I need to use a stun. Like Origami King, where you get jack shit for doing any of the battles. Yeah, literally just coins. Like I can understand coins are useful in that game to some degree, but. There is still the underlining problem in the fact that combat still isn't really necessary. Yeah, it's really funny. My mom's playing it right now, and she literally just runs away from every single battle. Well, yeah, no, because there's no real... And then she gets to the boss fight, and she's like, wait, are I play this game again? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will admit that Origami King's not terrible, but... Would you say it's, like, solidly, like, a little bit above average? It's... Average, like it's average at best. I'm not gonna lie. I actually think I might enjoy Color Splash a little bit more right now. Oh. Wait, why was I doing so much beforehand? Oh well. Um, yeah, no, Color Splash. I actually went on a second time, and I didn't hate it. I think it was okay. Did you hate it the first time? Yes. I went in that game with the expectation of this game looks like it's going to be a absolute trash pile. No, I thought oh. it was going to be like a five out of ten. Oh, okay. Damn thing was a four out of ten the first time I played. I my expect my my opinion of that game went down after I played it. So what is it now? It's like a six. Yeah, I'd say that of the three modern games, it's the best one. It's still got issues. Don't get me wrong. Every game. No, there's, I don't think there's a single, like, perfect game. Mm. Do, you, do you think so? 
Well, there are games that I personally don't have problems with. I wouldn't call some of them flawless. Like, I know a lot of people for this game, for example, a lot of people were not too huge on some of the backtracking issues that later in the game uh, the, uh, presents. So when you mean backtracking, having to go back to areas that you've already been in? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's this one giant-ass uh, trip where you basically go around every place you've been to find somebody, only for them to end up where you're supposed to be. I don't know, I guess that's like, like, you're getting a little bit of replay value out of it. Yeah, Out but, of the area. Because I feel, people probably just want to keep moving forward in their Exactly, game, right? but I think another big problem with that is, is just the main fact that you are, you're, the end of that chase is where you need to be, so it feels like a massive waste of time. But, I personally what do you think we could have done to, like, make it better, though? Like, give you something important from each place? Well, I mean, it all is just to progress to the next chapter. So, in the end, it's all just to progress. So, it's not all like so it's completely useless. Are the locations in this map, in this game beautiful? A hundred percent. So, they're also just gawking at themselves. They're pro they're flexing. They're, they're basically <laughs> flexing. <laughs> they're, basi they're basically flexing the muscles they once had. That's what they do in The Witcher. That's what they do in Assassin's Creed, which I think is really funny. Because, like, they get into the, like, the, the newer Assassin's Creed games. Even back in, like... Assassin's Creed 2, they're like, yo, look at this big map we got. <laughs> when you go on the synchronized things on top of the church, they're like, yo, we got this big map, we all want you to gawk at it as much as we do. Oh! Ah, shit! Find a ghost. You're a ghost! Oh, shit. That's a ghost with tits. <laughs> well, Sarcasm. Um, well, we're gonna find that ghost in the next episode. That's it. Goodbye, folks.